Trouble for our crew began from the very launch of the operation. Already, in the first hour of the offensive, the driver ran the right track over an anti-tank mine. Fortunately, Russian mines had weak charges and damage was negligible. However, due to the heavy workload of the repair team, we could only rejoin the company later that afternoon. On the next day, during a massive Russian tank attack, an armored piercing shell hit a square in the barrel of the gun, tearing out a sizable chunk of metal. The tank was now completely useless for battle. As soon as we had a short break, the company commander ordered that the rest of the ammunition, including machine gun belts, should be distributed among the rest of the platoon's tanks, and then we went crawling out to the rear for the repair shop. Waiting for our turn to get the barrel replaced took almost three days. On July 11th, our unit was assaulting a town just to the south of Prokhorovka Station. The platoon commander's vehicle had just been hit and was injured. As the most senior and experienced officer, I had to immediately take command. Concentrated fire of enemy anti-tank howitzers and artillery is preventing the capture of Adobrensky. The 1st Panzer Regiment is ordered to deal the decisive blow to capture the town and then begin moving towards Prokhorovka Station. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more IL-2 Tank Room as we continue our Last Chance campaign. I'll go ahead and get our tank started, and I'm going to turn on autopilot as well, and we will switch to the commander's position and open it up. We're going to um, movement, move by mission to the platoon, and it looks like we have a flight of ducks crossing right in front of us. Look at those. There's quite a few of them. Looks like, oh, and there's even more. And fly right overhead here. That's pretty cool. The mission for today is to head towards Prokhorovka, as you can see. So we are departing this. Oh, it looks like we are attacking uh, Russian positions right here at Autobrinsky. And that is probably just up ahead over yonder here. And that's probably the town. So we're going to most likely see combat really soon. We're going to... Whoa! Okay, one of our tanks just ate shit. Time to button up. I'm going to turn off autopilot and get our gun ready for action. We'll keep armor piercing high explosive loaded up for the time being. I'm also going to, yeah, we'll slowly advance, stop. I'm not seeing anything. Artillery, 11 o'clock, apparently. It's probably AT guns that took out that tank. Keep our eyes peeled here. Nice and easy. I'll keep armor piercing high explosive loaded up, just in case there's a tank over the top of this ridge. That's really what I'm worried about. Puma 1, this is Typhoon. You're ordered to destroy the enemy battery one kilometer north of of Vinch. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to say that, but okay. Oh, it looks like we are to maintain our thrust into the town. Okay. All right, let's go then. Nice and easy. It looks like uh, friendly tanks are pushing into the town already. And it looks like we're to head north. It looks like there's positions up there. That's probably what we need to head to, actually. Okay, so far, so good. We haven't been hit yet. Looks like all the Russian positions that were giving us trouble have been uh, dispatched. Take a look up here and see what's going on. It looks like our air cover is gone now. So I busted out artillery positions there. That may have been what we were dealing with. Oh, I'm not 100% sure. Fire control. I'm going to assign targets, uh, attack ground targets at will to the platoon. We'll keep moving up. 
I'll get on top of that hill there and should be able to look down on the enemy positions. Lots of smoke off into the distance. No more aircraft buzzing about. No Russian aircraft, which is good. No Russian ground attack aircraft. That could prove to be quite fatal for us. Oh, it looks like uh, that tank there got hit pretty bad. Some of her side skirts are blown off. And I did see, yeah, there's a flight of four aircraft over up there just to the left of that cloud. Oh, hopefully they're friendly. Okay, we will halt here. It's like the rest of my platoon is here as well. Caught up nicely. Looking good. And it looks like we need to head north over there. Okay, we'll do. Okay, formation control. Change formation. I want everyone in a line. Medium distance. Another flight of aircraft coming into the town. There they are. And they're dropping bombs. Looks like Falker Wolves, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, looks like those are probably Russian fighters. Yeah, it looks like they're about to tangle. Oh, for sure. Yep, those definitely look like Soviet yaks. But our main objective is right up ahead. Let's look. I got nothing. Slow down. Some tanks are returning fire. Nice and slow. Scan the horizon, looking for targets. What's that off to one o'clock? Okay, that looks like something out there. Can't make it out. Probably too far to effectively engage. It looks like there's stuff in this gully up ahead. That some of the uh, Panzer IVs are hitting. Yep. That's what they're engaging there. Let's try to get into a good position to engage as well. My gunner's turning. Oh, yep. There they are. I'll stop for the gunner. Open fire. Looks like, yeah, those are artillery pieces. Okay, they, I think they were all destroyed. More artillery distance 900 meters. Okay, let's continue our advance. There may be more down in here. ditches oh yep there are open fire 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 there we go yeah that's right light them up gunner But not. I'll take over the gunner position. Oh, I screwed up. There we go. Accidentally pressed the long, wrong key. Still have armor piercing high explosive loaded up, but it'll do. Okay, 
Okay, move into the direction of Prokhorovka Station. Yeah, we still have armor piercing high explosive loaded up. Let's see if there is there any more targets down here. Let's continue the advance. High explosive is up. I accidentally screwed that up and uh, locked my turret. I gave the order to lock my turret instead of, um, you know, taking control of it. I think the, the, whoa, holy shit. What did we get hit by? May have been a round that hit close to us. Well, let's wipe the rest of this stuff out. Oh, on this hill. There we go. It's fire. I think that may have been it. Yep, just one left. Okay, that's two artillery batteries completely wiped out. Now, where's Prokhorovka? To the east. Okay. Get off the turret. Let's head that way. Good work, boys. Have armor piercing, high explosive. Get that switched out. Fire control. Ammunition, F8. To the platoon, let's load APHE. Police. Attack ground targets at will. Fire control. Also want you to move. Fire while moving. That's the order I needed to give. What's that? Looks like a focke wolf. Yep. Nice to see you guys. Okay. Looks like there's not a whole lot of a terrain up ahead. It's really just flat up to Prokhorovka. May cause some issues here. And where are the rest of the tanks and my platoon? Well, we'll slow down for them and wait. Formation control. Yeah, there he is. I think there's only one. I think the other one may have been hit or knocked out. I'm, oh, no, there's two of them back there. Perfect. There are three of us. Okay, and there's the rest of my comrades moving out towards Prokhorovka. We'll pour, pour on the coals and start moving a little quicker. I was just trying to give uh, the rest of the tanks in my platoon a chance to catch up. take a look what's going on out there it looks like i think the dogfight's still going on okay i can already make out some artillery positions out in front of the town um not seeing a whole lot up there the town's kind of air aircraft disperse oh shit look at that stromovics I do want to see them. Let's see. Looks like maybe if I sit still, they won't see me. They won't break and try to hit me. Yeah, definitely IL-2s. There's another formation of them coming in. Of course, I'm risking my commander sitting out here like this, but the things I'll do for cinematic uh, moments... <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're coming in. They're dropping this one. Okay. No, thank you. Okay, let's close the visors as well. And keep rolling forward. And just cross our fingers, right, boys? Abort. Return to the positions near Shavinsk immediately. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess the attack's been called off. We're turning around. That's disappointing for sure. I was on a roll. I was pretty happy with what we're doing. We'll move up to this other group. 
and see maybe i can take some pot shots into uh, into prokhorovka take out some of those artillery pieces Io 2s gave me quite the scare. Thankfully, it looks like they were going for uh, other tanks. Doesn't look like they're looping back around just yet either. Oh, no, yeah, actually, they might be. Yep, yeah, there's one flight and there's another flight of four. Yeah, back there, they're circling us like vultures. Not a fan of that. Okay, well, let's actually change our spacing then with all of these uh, IL-2s out and about. Formation control, change spacing to far. Oh, shit. They're coming up right behind us. Can't see them. Right track's cut. All right, hold tight. I don't hear them or anything. I don't even know where we're going. Guess we need to head uh, southwest, so let's turn. I hear bombs going off. This is very, uh, very Silent Hunter-esque. Okay. Let's open our visor up. I I'm actually mostly concerned I'll accidentally hit one of our friendly tanks. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's see what's going on. One of our tanks got their tracks cut. Maybe one of these guys. It's possible. I can't really see its uh, right track there, but... That's the only one that's sitting still, so we can only assume, huh? Well, good luck, comrade. I, I'm gonna try to get out of here. These, it's actually kind of hilly. These little inclines are really killing our speed. So we can't just run away. Okay, apparently we have some BF 109s in the area. Hopefully they'll take care of those IL 2s, which are coming back for us. There's our artillery positions way out there, but it's probably best I don't waste the ammo. Oh shit. He's coming in for guns. Button up. Close the visor. probably making I think he's making a run on one of the ones behind us Jaguar 3 now has a fuel leak I, I think I know what caused that <laughs> probably the IL-2 oh wow yeah okay another tank has been completely taken out was that the one with its track cut I think it may have been yeah I think so he's destroyed now oh another IL-2 is coming in hitting one of our our tanks Okay, let's keep our eyes peeled. Oh, man. Yeah, this is rough. I can see why we decided to go back. Air support is quite scary. Thankfully, one hasn't tried to make a run on me. I've been quite lucky. We'll keep... We're almost at our positions. There's one. They're good looking planes, I'll give them that. It's amazing how terrifying it is seeing them. And how excited I was to see them during the Russian playthrough. <laughs> uh, okay, well, hopefully... That one's flying away, right? No, it's flying overhead. It's not making a gun run on us, so I think we're okay. it does we'll be able to, to pop down under quite quickly 
Okay, we're almost at the starting positions. Primary objective completed. And there we go. That's mission accomplished. Well, overall, not bad. We blew up some artillery uh, positions, and then the attack was called off. I think we lost two friendly tanks to the IL-2s, and we did lose another tank during the attack on the uh, artillery. One of them blew up. May have hit a mine or something. Uh, mines and even, like, trenches were very prevalent during uh, the battle. Okay, well, I suppose that's it. We made it back to safety. And our tanks unscathed. We were not hit. Actually, I think we may have been hit. Or at least a round landed fairly close to us. Look how, uh, look, my, uh, my tank commander has soot all over them now. They're firing the gun, I bet. Well, in any case, pretty good mission. What did we destroy? One transport vehicle and four heavy weapons. Not bad. I probably could have destroyed more if I was a bit more aggressive, but I'd rather rather keep my tank intact, to be honest. And we'll, we'll pull up right next to these fellas and end the mission. I hope you all enjoyed it. This was quite a fun one. I thought. It's definitely uh, interesting being on the other end of the ground attack. Uh, normally, I'm plucking away at tanks in the IL-2s, but being on the receiving end is not nearly as fun. Hello there, boys. Oh, that looks good. Apparently, the barrels pointing up is something they actually did. Uh, for one, it creates more space down here, and it also helped uh, the barrels not get stuck in the mud from uh, landing in ditches or trenches and things like that going down inclines. So, kind of cool. Uh, I do wish there was a way, like, you could put your tank in combat ready mode and your gunner would take the gun and have it already level and unlocked for you, but... Eh, that's fine. Still cool nonetheless. Let's go ahead and finish the mission. Accept. And uh, get the official confirmation and see what the next mission is called. Okay, mission accomplished. One vehicle, four heavy weapons. We have an event log here. I am curious to see. Okay, so a friendly uh, Panzer III was destroyed. Okay, and then back here, enemy howitzers were destroyed. I... I think we did have a friendly tank that got destroyed somewhere in there. We're on the way to Prokhorovka. Maybe not. Maybe because it wasn't part of our platoon. Who knows? Anyway, that'll wrap it up. Number five, the moment of truth. That is the next mission, and it looks like we are back in the Tiger. Yep, Heavy Panther Company. Okay, cool beans. So that should be quite exciting. Stay tuned for that. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like as it really helps out the channel. But that's all I have for today. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.